take all the rising sun And it's been Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar, and uh, today is uh, is a day where we're going to be learning House of the Rising Sun by the Animals, and uh, this was a huge hit in 1964, um, but actually this is a traditional song, traditional meaning we're not really sure who wrote it. Um, and it also implies that it's a folk song. So this song, uh, though the animals made it famous, um, it's actually credited as also being sort of the first folk rock song, which became quite a big thing in the 60s um, with bands like The Birds uh, and Crosby, Stills and Nash and stuff like that. I did a little... Uh, little chord melody at the end which I'm not going to go over because uh, I was kind of improvising it but I can go over theory and chord melody and how to arrange a solo instrumental piece in other videos if you would like. Please subscribe and comment and uh, let's zoom in on the hands and get to work. All right so um, what I like to do when, when we're doing finger picking is first teach the chords so that we don't over overload ourselves with too much information at once. Um, sort of separate the hands, and that's actually a piano trick. As you kind of play the left hand only, the right hand only. So I do that with my students with guitar, and it seems to to help things. So the four uh, the four chords of the first phrase here are A minor, okay, then the C, then the D, and then to what I call the easy F. <laughs> which is the, the F that uh, you can play just to uh, avoid doing a bar. And if you are a total beginner and you're learning these chords, uh, I, I do recommend you start with this F as opposed to this quite laborious full bar chord F. If you're a beginner, it might be a little too much. So you got that easy F there. And that's, that's what, what the guitar part is, is utilizing, so it works out. All right, so A minor. C, D, F, easy F. And then A minor, and on the intro, it goes to E to A minor. It's back to E, okay? Uh, now, the intro is actually playing the end of the verse, so we haven't learned the chords at the beginning of the verse, so let's Let's just go, because the picking pattern you'll see is, is fairly repetitive. So let's go over the beginning of the verse. A minor, C, D, four string F. Now, not the intro, but the beginning of the verse. A minor, C, to E. And then E7, which is we lift our third finger. Okay. And then we do the end of the verse, which is the intro. A minor. C, D, F, and now A minor, E, A minor, E. It's called a turnaround, which is uh, something that happens in the blues, but it can also happen in any form of music. Um, all right, so that's what the left hand's doing, and we're going to now focus more on, on the right hand. So. Um, so let's start with our A minor and 
bum ba ba dum bum bum bum. That's sort of the rhythm, right? So we need to 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 make that happen with our right hand. And what we're gonna do is thumb on the fifth string, and then thumb on the fourth string, and that starts off this cascaded note. So thumb on the fourth string. We'll do it slow at first. First uh, index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, ring finger on the first string. Middle finger on the second string, index finger on the third string. That's going to be the rule. Index finger on third string, middle on second, ring on uh, ring on first, thumb on the fifth and fourth. So I'm going to stop talking about fingers and I'm going to start talking about strings, which will make things a little easier. All right, so fifth, fourth, third, second, first, second, third. Let's speed it up a little bit. Once you kind of get that down, the rest of the chords are going to be easier. So we're going to spend a, a, a few seconds doing that a couple times. Okay, ready? Again. A little faster. Last time at speed. Okay, feel free to pause the video and get it up to speed if you need to, or you can just keep doing it slow. So that's going to continue for the next chord, C. One time slowly. Okay. The next chord is D, which uh, we have to change our picking pattern a little bit because we've run out of strings here. We only have we only have four strings to play with. So what we'll do is thumb, index, middle, ring, twice, which my classical teacher would not like me to do, but. Uh, for rock, sometimes we, we can kind of break the rules a little bit. So we're going to do thumb, I should say fourth string, third string, second string, first string, and then ring on the first string again, and then second string, third string. So that would be one more time at tempo. And then the F chord, we do the exact same right hand technique. All right. So let's get let let's do all four chords with those picking patterns, nice and slow. Ah, whoops! Before we go on, we have to release the third finger, which we have to do anyway for the C, because that's what the song is doing. Meaning. Don't play the second fret when you come back on that arpeggio. So that's what we should do, okay? Release third finger and then play the C. Okay, so let's do the whole thing now. Ready? Okay, and if if your your fingers in the second fret, it's it's not a big deal. Um, but I like to to be as accurate as I can, and that's that's what the record is is doing. One more time, a little faster. Okay, and then the intro we go A minor to E to A minor to E. So we'll do that. A minor, same as before. Sorry. And then E, so we do, it's a new chord here, so a new picking pattern. So we do sixth string thumb, fourth string thumb, and then the regular pattern, third, second, and first string, second, and third string. So like this. Nice and slow. And then back to our normal A minor that finger and then E and for the E on the record they are keeping the guitarist is keeping the first finger on that first fret third string and that's because it's important for the ear to hear that note so the producer probably said hey <laughs> leave your finger there um, all right so that's the intro let's do the whole intro ready
good. Believe it or not, we're almost done. Because all we have to do now is learn the first part of the verse, which is almost identical except there's that C chord. So, let's do that. Ready? It starts exactly the same as the intro. There is a house in New Orleans. They call all the same as the intro, but now instead of going to E, we go to C. Same picking pattern. The rising. And then we do E. Okay? So we do same pattern as the intro. Sixth, fourth, third, second, first, second, third. But now we do the E for two bars. So on the second bar, we release the third finger to make it an E7. And then do the same exact picking pattern. All right, so let's run that, the whole beginning of the verse. There is a house in New Orleans. They call. Seven, and then let's just finish the verse because it's the it's the intro. So we've already learned it, but let's just do it. And it's been a of Liverpool, and God, I know I'm a one. There you go. So that actually repeats the whole way. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, if you want to learn the organ solo, let me know. All right, way to go. So definitely a, a good song to have in your repertoire. And, you know, you've got the um, guitar part. There's a, a famous organ solo, which um, some pianists and organists on YouTube have covered. I'm, I'm always willing to transcribe a solo if people want it. So please subscribe to my channel and for, for daily lessons and comment below on a song you'd like to learn or on anything you'd like to learn really and um, have a great day hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you next time mm -hmm.